Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Astrid. I do post every Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, so don't forget to click that bell so you get notified when I post, and don't forget to subscribe as well. All right, so today's video, um, I thought about making you guys like a little Netflix recommendations for you guys, shows that I've watched recently or like that are kind of older, but I still like and enjoy. So starting from shows, I got, I got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So I got 14 shows. These are like, um, one of my like, not most favorite, but that I've enjoyed and they're like newer. Um, so yeah. So let's see. So first one is right now that I'm watching and has new episodes right now. So go watch it is Virgin River. Um, it's a really cute, um, show. Um, yeah, go watch it. It's really good. Another one is Working Moms. It's basically about moms, working moms as well. Um, my third one is Manifest. Um, I'm sure you've heard about it. It's really good. Um, I kind of didn't want to like start watching it because it seemed kind of boring from like the previews. But once I started watching it, I got really hooked. So go watch it. It's really good. Um, my fourth is Schitt's Creek. Um, it's a really funny show. Um, can't remember how many seasons there is, but um, I don't think they're going to make new ones. So it's really funny. Um, it's basically about like a rich family that something ha happens to them and now they're just trying to figure out how to survive. So it's really, it's really funny. Number five is Breaking Bad. Um, it's not a new one. It's pretty like an older show, but I still really love it. It's a really good show. Number six is The Good Place. Um, it's a really good show. It's, it's just basically about talking about the good place or the bad place, you know? So it's really good. Number seven is How to Get Away with Murder. This is more like if you like, like, you know, like FBI files or like if you're into like lawyer stuff and all that kind of stuff, you really like it. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it, but I did really like it. And I finished the whole like season, so... And number eight is Dead to Me. This one's a really good one. Um, it's about a few friends that have like a lot of, let's see, a lot of secrets and all that. So it's pretty good though. Uh, number nine is called The Baker and the Beauty. So basically just about a guy that is a baker and then the beauty, so a girl. Um, Number 10 is Ginny and Georgia. It's basically about like a mom, single mom with her kids. I think Ginny is the daughter and then Georgia is the mom. So it's really a good one. Um, I think there's going to supposed to be new episodes this year. So I'm really excited or next year. I don't know, but it's a really good one. Uh, number 11 is Firefly Lane. Um, it's a really good sh show, so go watch it. I'm not going to see a lot, so. <laughs> Number 12 is really good as well. It's a newer one. It's called Bridgerton. Um, the only reason I started watching this was because on the radio that I, when I was listening to the radio one day, the guy that was talking on the radio, he started talking about um, Bridgerton, and he's like, oh, I thought I wasn't going to like it because, again, from the previews, it looks kind of boring, you know, depending on the previews. Looks kind of dumb, <laughs> kind of boring. Um, but he said that he got hooked on it. And I was like, okay, well, then I'll just try it. And then I started watching it, and I got hooked on it as well. So I'm like, ah. But it's really good one. Number 13 is All American. Um, this one is about a uh, football team and then the main character and his family and stuff. So it's really good. And then my last show, number 14, is The Queen's Gambit. So, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but um, it's a good one. It's about like a chess player. So, she's really, like, really, really smart. So, so that is it for the shows. Now, I'm going to say the movies. The movies, number one is Ice Road. Basically, it's just saying about Ice Road. An Ice Road. So, this one's like really suspenseful. I'm like, ah. 
Number two is the impossible. That one's a good one. And number three is yes they. This one's a good like a good family movie. But the, the only thing is now that my son watched it with us, he wants to do a yes day. So but yes, this one is basically about like um, parents having to say yes to the kids to whatever like they want. Not whatever, but it, they have like set rules, but like most most of the things that they want, um, they have to say yes to. Number four is I care a lot. This one, this one's about like a lady that she like, oh God, she like tries to take care of old people. Something like that, uh, but it's a really good one. Um, it's kind of like emotional. It's kind of, you could, you guys could see it. it's really good. Number five is drunk parents. <laughs> this one kind of speaks for itself. The, the, the title um, is basically drunk parents and it's really funny. So number six is the social dilemma. This one's a newer one. I think it came out this year. Um, go watch it. It just basically talks about like social media, the internet and how we basically would go crazy without it. So and all that stuff so it's a really good one go watch it i really i like really recommend it um number seven is holiday date this is basically where the girl the main girl um she tries to get holidays because she doesn't have like a boyfriend and she doesn't she hasn't had one so she tries to get a holiday date. that's really good number eight is spencer confidential i think it is um this one has walk mark Wahlberg in it so it's a really good one. It's suspenseful. So, number nine is Fatherhood. This one's a new one as well. This one has um, Kevin Hart in it, and he's the main character. He's just talking about fatherhood, basically. It's really good, though. Um, and number 10, my last one for the movies, is Bad Trip. Um, that one's a good one as well. Um, yeah. So, all these shows and movies, I'll probably just um, put them in the description box so you guys can kind of look them up on Netflix. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um, today's video. Comment down below any movies and shows that I you think I should watch, you guys. Um, and then I'll definitely watch them. Um, and if, comment down below if you guys have watched any of these, the ones that I've recommended and you guys like as well, or if you didn't like it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, you guys. And click that bell so you get notified when I post. Don't forget, I do post every Tuesdays and Thursdays. See you guys in the next one. Bye.